In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to amortize a bond's receivable purchased at a premium using the effective interest rate method, and this bond's receivable is also a held to maturity security. So over here in T-account form, I have the asset account shown here as assets on the balance sheet, and cash is also an asset here. And over on this side, I show the interest revenue that we recognize each period on that bond, and that's part of net income on the income statement. So for an example here, we have a $100,000 face value of bond with a 9% stated rate of interest and it's five years or 10 semi-annual payments. And here in our cash account, we paid $104,100 for that bond. Now that's based on the uh, uh, maturity value of $100,000 plus the interest payments on that bond um, discounted back using the market rate of interest. In this case, it's 8% per year. Now we need a balancing uh, account here between the $100,000 debit and the $104,100 credit here to cash. And what we use is a valuation account here to bonds receivable. We'll call it the premium to bonds receivable account. And that increases this bond receivable amount. So that balancing amount here would be a debit amount of $4,100. So what we do during the life of that bond, we amortize this premium of bonds receivable down to a zero balance, such that at the uh, maturity date of the bond, that carrying value of the bond is going to be $100,000 on our balance sheet here. Now moving down here, uh, I have a interest receivable account and that's for those semi-annual interest payments that we receive on the bond. And they're for $4,500 each. Now that's based on a 9% uh, rate of interest, uh, the stated rate of interest, and you divide that by two or four and a half percent per period times a $100,000 face value, and you get that $4,500 uh, payment here that we receive each period on that bond. Now over here, I have the interest revenue. That's what we recognize each period for that uh, those bond uh, payments that we receive. Now this is uh, based on the market rate of interest times the bonds carrying value. And in this case our market rate of interest is 8% per year. You divide that by 2 so you get 4% per period. Now remember it varies here based on the market rate of interest and the bonds carrying value. All right, let's calculate our premium to bonds receivable amortization here. Now remember this premium to bonds receivable is a balancing account between the bonds receivable and the cash account, and it's also a balancing account here between the interest receivable and the interest revenue that we recognize for each one of those payments. All right, let's go down and make our calculations here. So we have this $4,500 interest payment that we receive each period, and that's based on the stated rate of interest or uh, semi-annual payment. It would be, in this case, it would be 9% divided by 2 or 4.5% per period times the $100,000 face value of the bond or $4,500 here. Then we have to calculate the interest revenue that we recognize for that payment. Now that's based on uh, the carrying amount of the bond, and in this case it's $104,100 here to start with, times the market rate of interest, and we have to use a semi-annual payment here. So we use 4% uh, for the payment period, and you take the 4% times $104,100, and you get uh, the uh, interest revenue here of $4,164. Now subtracting this interest revenue from the interest payment, we receive, uh, we calculate here this premium to bonds receivable amount. And in this case, it's $336, the difference between 4,500 and 4,164. Now we use this premium that we amortize here, and uh, we subtract that from the carrying value, and then we reduce that carrying value by that premium amount. Then for the next period here, uh, we use the new carrying value times the uh, market rate of interest or 4% for that period and we calculate the uh, interest revenue for that period. Now we have the interest payment here of $4,500 minus this in interest revenue that we recognize and then we get this premium amount here. Now this premium amount we just subtract from the uh, previous balance here and we come up with our new balance. Now we continue this process on and until we get down here where our bond is amortized down to $100,000. That's its carrying value when it matures here. 
Now if we go back here and we look at those interest payments, we received 10 payments of $4,500 each for $45,000. Then the interest revenue we recognized on those payments was for a total of $40,900 here. Now taking the difference between those interest receivable payments here and the interest revenue that we recognized on the income statement, we come up with this premium to bonds receivable here of $4,100. And that would be the difference between these two here. And that was its amortized amount and it would be amortized down to a zero balance in that premium to bonds receivable account. All right, let's summarize what we've done here. We've amortized this premium of bonds receivable down to a zero balance. And by doing that, we reduce the carrying value of the bond by that premium amortization each period. And we started out here at $104,100. And then when the bond was mature here in the last period, it was amortized down here to $100,000. So let's look at this pre premium of bonds receivable as a balancing entry between the interest receivable and the interest revenue. So looking at the first period here, we have $336 credit balance in this premium account here. And we also have a credit balance here of $4,164 in the interest revenue account. Now, if we add those two together, uh, we come up with the equal amount here of $4,500 as the interest receivable a debit amount here. So if we look at our total here of the premium amortization, we have a $4,100 credit balance here. And the interest revenue, we have a $40,900 credit over here as our total amount. And that balances with the interest receivable of $45,000 here. So now looking at this interest receivable, we reduce it by those interest payments that we receive each period. And then going up here in our bonds receivable, once that bond matures, we would reduce that bonds receivable account by that amount. Now, this cash, looking at this cash account, we increase it by those interest payments that we receive each period. In this case, there were $4,500. And we'd also increase it when we receive that um, maturity value of that bond here for $100,000. So in summary, this premium of bonds receivable was a balancing account here between the bonds receivable and the cash, and also a balancing account here between interest receivable and the interest revenue. So that's a summary here of our journal entries for a bonds receivable uh, at a pre uh, purchased at a premium amount, and how this premium, the bonds receivable, uh, is a balancing account here on this balance sheet.